Hey everybody, Matt here from A to Z Diecast. Um, scored another uh, spec cast hauler on eBay. Um, of course, it's a Ford one. Also, another shipper who couldn't, this eBay seller who couldn't understand how to ship it nicely, literally had a layer of thin bubble wrap with a homemade cardboard box because they couldn't find one. I get it, it's a big item. Luckily, I opened my stuff because those of you who keep them in the packages, man, you'd be pissed. Again, second car carrier, transporter, whatever you want to call it, eBay seller, no bueno. I don't care. It's coming out. Um, so anyway, um, Ford Motor Company struck my eye. I'm like, yes. So let's uh, rip into this one. This is, where's the thing? Oh, pull that off. This is Miller Industries. Uh, I can't even read that one. Here, this side. How about that? Miller Industries Incorporated Titan T-Series Multi-Vehicle Transporter. Um, I do not know... Oh, wait, here we go. Ford Peterbilt 379 with car hauler. So let's open this bad boy up. This has been out of the package before because this eBay seller definitely took pictures of it because I saw them. I don't know if that's in there. Oh, let me show you. Um, this thing's all crumpled up for those of you who care. Again, if you're selling something, if you're shipping something, yeah, this thing has packaging on it, but some people really, really like the packaging. Not eyes to the fly. So, folding that down, folding that down. Take that out. Take this out. Throw that away. Um, throw this bad boy in there. Just got a notification I'm on 15% uh, power, so this video may not last that long. Hopefully, I can get through it. Um, so, again, with the extra detail of the Fords, um, I've noticed that some of the DCP spec cast trailers that I've seen online do have some air hoses and stuff, um, like dangling. I don't know if those are custom, because this is only my second one. But, again, it's cool. It's real cool. So let's take this off. Let's check this out. Again, I am not much of a, a person who knows much about 18-wheelers, but this thing looks cool. It says limited edition on it, made in China. Steps, gas tanks. Should be an air tank somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, right? Right, right, truck guys. Um, got the chrome visor, the lights across the top, big Ford, si Ford symbol on the top, Ford symbol on the doors. Nice detail with the Peterbilt right there. Cool looking rims, little compartments here and there. Again, matching on the other side. Does have a painted on window. That is not a real window on the, down there. Um, is this the air tank? Maybe that's the air tank. No, that was one on each side. I thought those were the air cleaners. I don't know. Um, here's the back. It's got the uh, die cast air hoses on there. Um, just regular plastic on that. It does have weight to it because this is all metal. Those are not. These are plastic. But a uh, nice piece. One of the differences from the other holder that I did, if you want to check out my other videos, this one has the reflective, although they're not, uh, red and white safety reflectors on it. The other one uh, 
doesn't have those. I, I looked at that. I wanted to see if I had they someone sold the decal. I'd put it on. Same bed. Um, this does slide out. It's supposed to slide out. So you can make it with the cars go up. Again, same thing on the other side. Um, ooh, look at that. The wheel's off. Push that on a little bit. I'll do that better when I have two hands and I'll put this on something so I don't scratch it up. Um, you know, growing up, this reminds me of those, uh, I think it was a Matchbox Super King that I had. Didn't look as, as realistic as it did, as this does, but, you know, same idea. This thing is pretty damn cool looking. Um, since I have power running on my phone, I'm not going to throw these on. For those of you who don't know, I did in my last video, check it out. These are little uh, bumps that you can stick on. They have little stickies on the bottom over there that you could stick on the actual transporter itself so the cars don't roll off. Um, I mean, it does. I mean, this thing's pretty. I don't want that to slide into it. When they say it's 164, I mean, it, it's it's pretty close. Ah! Damn you. It's pretty close. I mean, it looks realistic. It's not like it's, it, it wouldn't. Um, the one thing I didn't do, and shh, I'm going to take this demon I did a video for. I know it's a Ford, but this is a Mopar. Um, let's see if it slides in. No. Oh, oh, it's tight. No, I don't want to scratch anything up. Um, it doesn't go in. Uh, for these, I don't know if another casting might. Someone mentioned on the other one, one of my Fox bodies made without a light bar. Because, uh, it was a uh, police car. So maybe one of those would fit in. This is a somewhat tall casting. I don't have anything else laying around. Uh, my son was playing this. But, I mean, yes, I know. Again, I said it. Yes, it's a Dodge. It's a Mopar on a Ford Carrier. It's just here. Um, it looks pretty damn close to what a real one would look like. Let me pick that up. Anyway, before the video gets cut off early because I'm going to run out of power, um, thanks for watching. Again, Matt from A to Z diecast here. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Check out all the stuff I open up. Uh, getting close to 300 subscribers. Hopefully when you watch this, I'm past it. Um, as we get more and more, maybe I'll open up some more you know, non-Ford cars. Although, you know, we'll see. Um... Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know. Check us out. Again, this is the Miller and uh, Industries Titan Series Car Hauler by SpecCast. Um, peace.